don't know. Leave it on. I don't think I can look at his face. Okay, let's just take him out. I, I take the legs, you take the arms. I mean, the arm. Okay, ready? Hit it. But no, master, I need my head. Well, do it for the views. You aren't getting any views. It was just an arm. He wasn't supposed to die. I killed him, man. It wasn't your fault, man. You should have put a band-aid on or something. Yes, it was my fault and you fucking know it. I, I made him cut his hand off and, and he bled and died for fucking views. For views that we, we didn't even get the fucking views. Yeah. His death had no meaning. I mean, you even got less views than before. Shut the fuck up about the fucking views, man. We have we have a dead body here. Don't you understand? I, I killed him for nothing. Okay, you know what? You know what? His death wasn't completely meaningless. At, at least I, I learned to be a more humble person. I, I know what truly matters in life. But, but he died for nothing. I, I will never be able to forgive myself. Don't worry. Then. What what's happening? I forgive you. I know you didn't want me to die. Just promise me that from now on you will live a life of a simple man that puts others above himself and his needs. Live your life in honor of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, pr I promise. I promise to you, man. I, pr I will. Good. By the way, do you like the new trailer? Wait, 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 wait. Trailer? Trailer? What trailer? Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. It was quite good. Robert, what is he talking about? Is there a trailer? Please tell me there is no trailer. Of, of course there's a trailer. I, I thought you saw it. Fucking great! <laughs> a new Harry Potter trailer comes out. And no one tells me about it. Fucking marvelous. When did it, when did it come out? Uh, about two days ago. Two days. Okay, calm down a little bit. Two days, two days is not that bad. Okay, let's go, let's go get in the car, let's go. Wait, but what about the funeral? Dude, fuck the funeral. The, the trailer is a trending topic. Imagine how many views we are gonna get. He's dead, he doesn't care, let's go. But, 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 but you just said you were humble. Oh, fuck it, never mind. So, with the trailer coming out, I thought I would make this video. It is going to be a mismatch of speculations from the trailer, things I will be in the movie, and the things I want to see in the film. With that being said, let's start. The movie is called Crimes of Grindelwald, so I want there to be some actual crimes of Grindelwald. In my opinion, a story like this can only be as good as the villain, and I don't want Grindelwald to just be a figure lurking in the background and everybody in the film just talking about how bad and dangerous he is. I want Grindelwald to do bad things on screen. Let me see that dirty muggle blood flow and light that crazy face of Johnny Depp's up in flashes of green while the sweet words of Avada Kedavra are echoing in my ears. On a serious note, I think it is going to be pretty deathly halocentric since the imagery is all over the marketing. Also, could Grindelwald kill some of those fantastic beasts of Newt's? That would actually give Newt some personal reason to go against the guy. Speaking of Fantastic Beasts, please let there be less of them in this one than in the last Fantastic Beasts film. I mean, the title is already suggesting that that will be the case. I don't have a problem with the beasts themselves, but how they were used. In the first Fantastic Beasts they were in the forefront of the plot, and the actually interesting story was going on in the background. Just switched around in this movie. 
Focus on the story and the characters, and let the whimsical world with all the beasts just be the backdrop. That's when the Wizarding World works best, when the focus is on the characters, not a basic Pokemon fetch quest where the Pokemons are trying to rape Eddie Redmayne. One of those characters that I would like the film to focus on is of course Albus Dumbledore, and I am so excited to see how big of a part he plays in this film. I'm super interested in how Rowling portrays this younger Dumbledore. Obviously we know that this whole Fantastic Beasts franchise will end with Dumbledore Grindelwald duel, so it would be really nice if we learned some more about what happened in the past with the two of them. This backstory to me personally was one of the most interesting subplots of the books, and I hope this film explores it in greater detail. The trailer doesn't seem to indicate that Dumbledore will be doing much himself in this film, Instead he is sending Newt to Paris and says he is the one who will have to fight Grindelwald. Dumbledore really likes sending unqualified wizards to save the world instead of going himself, doesn't he? I can't move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. Of course, this line most probably means that Dumbledore thinks he cannot fight his former best friend slash lover, that he just wouldn't be able to pull the trigger when it is time to do it. And that is why it has to be Newt. But I have one a little more interesting theory. Rowling loves putting mystery elements in her work and fills it up with twists and turns. So, this is me trying to predict the ending of Fantastic Beasts Crimes of Grindelwald before we really know any of the plot. As I said earlier, the Deathly Hallows symbol is visible everywhere in the ad campaign for this movie so I think it's safe to assume that they will be pretty important in this film. Particularly the Elder Wand, because that is of course the one that Grindelwald had the most interest in. But if we can believe this scene from Deathly Hallows where Grindelwald gets the wand, he was much younger when he stole it, so that means he already has it. And if Grindelwald has the wand, then how is it going to be important enough to put it in the marketing of the movie so much? My answer would be that in the first Fantastic Beasts, Newt bested Grindelwald so the allegiance of the Elder One would shift to him. Just like Harry got the allegiance from Draco by getting a wand that wasn't even the Elder Wand itself, just like the one that Grindelwald had wasn't. But the allegiance would shift nonetheless. That's why Dumbledore says it has to be him, because he is the true master of the Elder Wand. Or maybe his beasts are? Could that be a thing? Because this creature is what actually kinda quote unquote beats Grindelwald. This scene from the trailer looks like it could be the final showdown of the film, where I assume they are battling Grindelwald. And what is it right there? A suitcase. What is in it? Those fantastic beasts that are going to be all released and will help Newt defeat Grindelwald in this epic battle. Or lose miserably because Grindelwald has to be around for three more movies after this, so who knows, but that is my crazy theory for the day. One more thing I want to see in this movie is the Obscurials and the character of Credence Barebone explored more as he was probably the most interesting part of the first film for me, personally. Has he learned to control his power? Why is he releasing this dark magic over the city? Is he going to be a villain now? Is he a Lestrange? And is he related to the mysterious little Lestrange who is also going to be in this movie? I think that Newt's mission in Paris is to recruit Credence, because as Newt tried to help Credence in the first film, he would be probably the best man for this job. But of course, Grindelwald hasn't lost interest in Credence either, so I have a suspicion he's gonna be there as well. Credence is probably in Paris and probably has joined this circus, which is definitely going to be an important place in this movie. Anyhow, I'm excited to see what they do with Credence's character but I can't say that for all the returning cast, and this is actually one of my biggest concerns for the movie. I'm afraid there might be too many characters. In the Harry Potter books there are a lot, a lot of rich and well-developed characters, but this is not a book, this is a movie. 
I fear that Rowling is going to introduce too many new characters, and as we know all the previous ones are returning as well. Did we really need them by the way? I'm happy Jacob's back, I, I like Jacob, but the rest, uh, I don't need them. I just hope this movie doesn't become an overcrowded mess. One more thing I don't want to see in this movie, but I think will be in it, unfortunately, is a look how poorly all these animals are treated in this circus subplot. I don't need to see Newt freeing all these animals for 30 minutes of the movie's runtime. Yes, animal cruelty is an important problem, but it has been done to death in other films, plus it was a topic in the last Fantastic Beasts as well, so please, just focus on something else. But back to the things I want to see. Hogwarts. As much Hogwarts as possible. As soon as the trailer started and I saw Hogwarts I just got so excited. Please, movie, just let me spend a little bit more time in that castle of wonders. I know it is a separate story and not Harry Potter, but you can never go wrong with Hogwarts, right? And I think that it isn't bad to tie this to the original stories a little bit. If it is not overdone, it will just make the audience connect easier and be more invested. A perfect way of doing that, in my opinion, is bringing the character of Nicholas Flamel into the film. It just makes sense. The movie is set in Paris and Flamel is obviously French and a friend of Dumbledore's. Newt has to stay somewhere when he's in Paris, right? The character of Nicolas Flamel would be a perfect mix of old and new. He's a known character that Harry Potter fans will be excited to see, but he has never actually appeared in the books or movies, so it would be a new experience as well. And last, but certainly not least, I just want this to be an exciting, interesting story. Rowling is a master storyteller and can write mysteries in a very unique way. While the first Fantastic Beasts wasn't my favorite, now Rowling has had some screenwriting experience and I think she can do a much better job this time around and bring back the magic of the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Let's hope for the best. Thank you for watching and please leave this video a like if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in this film and check out my other videos if you want some more Harry Potter stuff and I have some other stuff as well. And of course subscribe to not miss anything new. And bye bye. Okay, that should be good. Wait a minute. If he's dead, who cast the Patronus? I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Play cool. Uh, this is uh, Latvians at our usual habit that this happens all the time. Hey, don't even care. <laughs>